Serial killers collect twisted trophies from crime scenes. These trophies can be hair, a driver's license, jewelry, or apparel. What happens when serial killers photograph their murders? What if they wanted to record their victim dying? Some of the following victims would have seen their serial killer's camera as one of their last things. The horrifying pictures of their suffering show how brutally they died. Number 1. The Unsolved Polaroid Tara Calico, 19, disappeared on September 20, 1988, after failing to return from a bike trip in Valencia County. In Florida, nine months later, a woman found a Polaroid in good shape. A terrifying Polaroid turned a kidnapping into a serial murderer case. It depicted two bound victims with tape over their lips. The girl resembled Tara, and the boy was believed to be Michael Henley, who disappeared six months before Tara. Both victims' parents thought it was them. In 1990, Michael's bones were uncovered, and it was determined that the boy in the photo was not him. Number 2. Jeffrey Dahmer's Victim's Polaroid Collection Some photos shouldn't be googled. Jeffrey Dahmer's arrest revealed his personal Polaroid collection. On July 22, 1991, Milwaukee police found Tracy Edwards wandering with handcuffs on. Edwards said a strange person put them on him and escorted him to Dahmer's home. A cop searching for the handcuff key found mutilated body parts in the bedroom. Dahmer battled with the officers to avoid arrest when he noticed one clutching Polaroids of his victims. As Dahmer was held down, an officer opened the refrigerator and found a decapitated head. Number 3, Dean Coral, aka Candyman's Photos Collection. Dean Coral abducted, assaulted, and killed 28 teens in Houston, Texas, from 1970 to 1973. He was called the Candyman and the Pied Piper because he used candy to fool his victims. In 2012, a filmmaker discovered a photo believed to show a 29th victim. The handcuffed boy looks scared at the camera. I look at it and, investigating the case in crime scene photos, I see Dean's toolbox, his implements, and this kid with handcuffs. Number 4, Jerry Brudos Victims Photo Collection. Jerry Brudos was a serial killer and necrophile known as the Lust Killer. He murdered them, often while wearing women's clothes, and kept their shoes as trophies. Brutos had a fetish for women's shoes at age 5, and as a teen he stole women's underwear. He killed four young women in Oregon between 1968 and 1969. In May 1968, Brutos abducted 18-year-old Karen Sprinker from a mall parking lot and photographed her hours before her murder. He strangled her in lingerie he'd bought, then dumped her body. Sprinker and Linda Sally, 22, were found dead in Oregon's Long Tom River in May 1969. Brutos was arrested on June 28, 1969, and pled guilty to three counts of first-degree murder. Brutos never showed remorse for his crimes, blaming his abusive mother instead. Number 5. Robert Berdella's Victims Photo Collection Bob Butler and Torturer who documented his crimes by taking photographs. Between 1984 and 1987, he killed six persons in Kansas City, Missouri. It took him weeks of torturing his victims once they became friends with him. He deafened them by injecting caulk into their ears, blasted drain cleaner into their throats, and blindfolded and bagged them. In the 334 Polaroids and 34 photo prints he took, several of his defenseless victims were already dead. Dismembered bodies of his victims were buried in his backyard or dumped in garbage bags. After four days, Christopher Bryson, 22, escaped from Berdella's clutches. In the meantime, Bryson broke free from his bonds and leapt from the second floor window. His house was raided by authorities, who discovered unsettling photos, two skulls, and torture journals. Number 6. William Richard Bradford's Victims Photo Collection William Richard Bradford killed Tracy Campbell, 15, and Sherry Miller, a Los Angeles bartender. Bradford killed and dismembered the girls. 
he photographed and strangled Miller in a desert before leaving. Investigators found 54 photos of unidentified women on Bradford's death row, including Miller modeling. Bradford was sentenced to death in 1988 for murdering Campbell and Miller. Number 7, Robert Ben Rhodes' Victims Photo Collection. Serial killer Robert Ben Rhodes used the roadways of Texas to transport his torture van. Rhodes used the sleeper cab of his 18-wheel semi to sexually assault and humiliate his victims. It is said that Rhodes and his wife participated in the BDSM and swinger scenes in Houston throughout the 1980s. Starting in 1975, Rhodes killed more than 50 people on highways, yet he was only convicted of three of those deaths. Thanks for watching. Support my channel by hit like and subscribe button for more contents.